a mutation selected from a group of marble queen plants that had been irradiated once with gamma rays from a cesium-137 source. This is a radioactive plant, basically. Hi friends, welcome to another plant identification video in which we discuss two different varieties of the same plant and the difference between them. And today we're going to talk about the pearls and jade portals, also known as PJ portals. I'm just making this up. And the uh, NJ portals. So if you're new here, my name is Larissa and in this channel we try to make plant parenting easier by explaining how plants work. So we're going to compare these two plants and I did a lot of research on them and I found some really cool stuff to share with you guys. Like, crazy sci-fi stuff this plant is not what it looks like you know it looks innocent but it's not anyway so these are like two of the same plant uh just putting here for volume so we're comparing these two so if you watched my last video on the allocation of poly versus allocation of bambino you understand that Plants like this is not like they are found in nature. They are basically new products being launched in the market by, I don't know, plant companies. Pretty much like a fashion company releases new collections. So the people who are in the business of growing new plants and selling indoor plants, they are always trying to come up with new things. Sometimes they try to come up with new looks for old plants, let's say. And it's not like they can just paint the plant in a new color they have to make it grow and they have to make it grow a stable version new version of the plant so they can call it a different name and sell at a higher price basically that's what's happening in the case of the photos everybody knows the the golden photos everybody has at least one photos variety in their place sorry about this like my clothes is acting on me and <laughs> just but anyway, so the Potos is such a popular plant that is a, a great uh, idea for the business to come up with different versions of Potos because everybody knows how to take care of it. This plant is really good in low light conditions, it's always growing a lot. So coming up with new varieties of Potos is a good business. The problem is, at least uh, from what I found out from my research, is that Unlike other species, you cannot uh, make a hybrid of photos. You cannot get like a J photos and the neon photos and cross them and make like a hybrid of the two of them and make like a jade neon photos. You always have to replicate it by propagation. So what they do is that they get the most interesting parts of the plant that has uh, characteristics that they think will be attractive to people who are collecting plants like us. And they rep replicate this part, uh, propagate, propagate, propagate until they come up with a plant that has only those characteristics. And sometimes they also try to change the environment of the plant to make a new plant. So both the pearls and jade and the enjoy, they both come from the Marble Queen photos. And I'm gonna link to the video in which I talk about the Marble Queen and the Snow Queen and the differences. But basically they were mutations of that plant, really mutations. So what I found out is that the pearls and jade was made through gamma rays radiation. And I'm not making this up. I'm gonna link to the patent document and I'm gonna link down below in the description. Uh, but I'm just gonna read for you from the document. So they say that uh, because of the commercial importance of this crop and the difficulty in its hybridization, or meaning they cannot cross two plants, we initiate a program at the Mid Florida Research and Education Center. So this was made in Florida in 2009. They wanted to introduce mutations in available cultivars. So every variety of a plant is called a cultivar. This is a cultivar, this is another cultivar. Uh, they say the Potos pearls and jade is a mutation selected from a group of marble queen plants that had been irradiated once with gamma rays from a cesium-137 source. This is a radioactive plant, basically. This is like this was made with 
cesium, the stuff you see in sci-fi movies, and it's like, how cool is that? You have like, a, it's really a mutant plant. So you think this is a common plant? This is a, a mutant, a radioactive plant. Of course, it's all safe. They wouldn't sell something that is dangerous to people, but I find that this is a really cool story. At the same time, the same year, it was 2009, in another continent, in India, they were trying to create this plant, the Enjoy Potos. What they wanted to create was a more compact version of a Potos. If you know the Potos, it can grow uh, big intervals between one node and the other. So they got the Marble Queen and they tried to select this what they call superior clones, which is really <laughs> sci-fi stuff as well. Basically, they selected the plants that had a shorter node. You can see, if you compare this with the regular photos, you can see that the distance between one node and the other is really short, compared to the normal photos. And let me read the original document. So this new variety was discovered as a naturally occurring branch mutation in a grouping of more than 100 plants representing superior clones of the parent variety Marble Queen. I'm not making this up. These are clones and this is radioactive. So clones were selected for several years with a selection criteria of shorter internodes and brightest variegation. The new cultivar is a selection from one of these, these unnamed superior clones of Marble Queen, not directly selected from the Marble Queen. Uh, this new variety was discovered by Ashvid Arvin Hansorti in 2002 at a commercial greenhouse near Mumbai. So it, this was actually discovered slash made seven years before. So how cool is that? So basically, this is the story of the clones and the radiation plant. And you think it's just like a house plant. But anyways, the differences between the two and how you can tell them apart. Actually, it's pretty obvious. So the Enjoy Photos, it has a very uh, defined white uh, variegation. It's almost like it was painted. You can see these big patches of cream colors and all the colors are very solid as in the pearls and jade you have a lot of specks you don't see just one color it feels like they are more mixed together and it has a lot of patches that are like this muted green so everywhere you can see in every part of the leaf you see the specks so this is the main difference. I love this plant. I really like contrast in, in clothes and plants and I like the contrast inside the leaves. But this is also a cool plant and they both differ from the other photos because their leaves kind of have this texture. Uh, so the leaves of the photos are very, how do I say, they don't have any bumps in the surface. They are very, uh, I know the word in Portuguese, but I can't remember in English. Lisa, they are very, both the pearls and jade and, and joy have this um, bumpy surface, if you may, and if you're not aware that you may even think that the plant is sick, but it's just how the plant is. And one thing we want to do here in this channel is to try to kind of replicate the system that they did in the, the greenhouses. So I have a Marble Queen that I want to select the most variegated parts and I want to try to turn into a Snow Queen and we are in the process of making it. So we're gonna come up with this video very shortly for you. So stay tuned, subscribe if you want to see more adventures with radioactive plants and clone plants. And if you like this video, you're also gonna like this one in which I talk about the difference between the Marble Queen and the Snow Queen photos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.